Yo, what's up, man? That's it's your boy, Uncle P. Um, did you guys see that there's a little bit of lack of excitement or enthusiasm or enthusiasticness in my voice? It's because I spent a lot of, I do a lot of research for all my videos. People think I just sit there and I find the funniest or the worst video and I put it out here and I talk about it. No, I do a lot of research. I need to, and one thing that I want people to understand, in the research that I do, I learn a lot. Be it about my own country, South Africa, Angola, Nigeria, Congo. I learn a lot and I start realizing certain things. You know, too many times in our lives when we need to cry for help, we tend to hold things to ourselves because society has betrayed us. When you go to family for help, they laugh at you. You are not taken serious in family meetings. You are not considered when you don't have money. So a lot of us keep to ourselves and some of us turn to bad things like selling drugs. Some of us turn to um, some even theft, robbing the bank, um, what to call Yahoo jobs, internet scams, um, kidnap. People go to the extreme. Some of us, we accept our lives as they are and we try our best. We live with grants that our country has created in order to support. Some leave their countries, go into other countries, seek for refuge. They leave away and benefit from that country's um, well-standing economy. Now, for those that do not, they are too proud and too egotistic to ask for help. What's the issue with hearing the cry of your own people from your own people? Because if I speak, you will say I've never been to Nigeria. I'm only finding the worst videos to put out here. But when your own people speak, what do we then say? Nigeria is producing Nigeria is motherless producing. babies. And by Nigeria, I mean Nigeria. every one of us that make up Nigerian society. My sister recently shared an article with me that recounted how a desperate Nigerian girl ended up selling her baby boy rather than return home pregnant to face the music of shame and possible disownment. Note that this was after she was advised that an abortion would be both dangerous for her and the baby. It is a real tragedy when a society functions in such a way that it creates a culture that consistently puts people between a rock and a hard place. The male counterpart for impregnating and abandoning her. Her parents, for instance. So guys, in Nigeria right now, women are basically abandoning their children or selling their children. While the men are here in South Africa creating jolofinas, they are out there in Kenya, they are all around in the US doing scams and everything. They are here on social media starting podcasting and TikTok channels speaking about how great Chidima is, how we should leave Chidima alone, how they are making money, how people are bragging about Nigerians are the shit, Nigerians this, Nigerians that, go to this, Nigerians are the greatest, Nigerians do this, Niger What is all this? What is happening in your own country? Nigeria has 230 plus million people, equivalent to the same size as the whole of Africa. I don't want to, I don't want to laugh. Guys, what's happening in Nigeria is a serious man situation. And if you don't take it seriously, you need to understand these children that are being born, they are being born in conditions that they will be born with anger with frustration, because it's not only the men that are doing this, even their own family. I'm gonna continue. Feeling in her a greater sense of fear than love. Extended family members and the larger community for constructing a narrative of stigma and condemnation rather than redemption. Government for not providing or supporting organizations that give such people a way of escape, but rather forces them to make the less than upright choice. From the baby traders who run the baby factories, we're not even speaking of the constant presence of poverty in the land that makes options like baby factories part of the demand and supply chain. 
newborns were sold for up to $5,000, whereas the mothers of the babies were given as little as 20,000 naira. I have previously heard stories of young girls who find themselves pregnant after suffering the trauma of rape, only to be abandoned by their family and ostracized by society. Guys, I've heard stories here in South Africa. I think because South Africa is so loud and it holds itself accountable for its wrongdoings, the world, or rather yet Nigerians, or Africa, has been misled to believe that South Africa is the most dangerous country in the world. I haven't been robbed in this country in the last 10 plus years. I have not encountered a murder within my circle or a hijacking or anything. I think what happens with South Africa is when something happens, no matter how small, we make it so aware to people because we want this nonsense to stop that people go under the impression that, oh, look, it's happening there. When they say that South Africa is the highest crime rate, are they also saying that it's got the highest immigration, illegal immigrations in Africa? Because that also accounts to the crime. Because if you cannot account of certain people, you cannot account of the crimes that they are doing. So the stats may be saying that these illegal aliens are the ones that are creating these crimes in this world, in this country. And all of us that live in South Africa, we know. The problem with people who are talking on social media, I don't think they live in South Africa. Because those Nigerians, those Zimbabweans, those Mozambicans, those Congolese that live in this country know exactly what is happening in this country, exactly what they are doing in this country. I have never walked in South Africa. I've been to a South African squatter camp. I've even dated a girl that lived in a South African squatter camp. I wanted to move her out, but long story, long story, story for another day. But I've been there. But I've never ever experienced such conditions. Yeah, good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah, how much do you pay for rent here? Yeah. Four thousand. Four thousand yeah. per month. Yeah, so can you take me a tour of your place? Guys, like I always say, how much is four thousand naira? The fact that you even paying anything for this. For this type of living conditions. The fact that you this is your living conditions and you're actually paying for it. There's a landlord that you are paying to live like this. Where do you cook? Where? Yeah? Yes. Yeah? So this is basically how you cook to eat, ma. Yes. Wow. Guys, at the end of this video, I'm gonna put South African shacks. And show you what some of these shacks look like inside. Wow. This is where you save water from from the rain. Where's your bathroom? Okay, before we get to the bathroom, guys. Guys, we've seen South African sports accounts. You know our reality, and you know the reality of this country. And this is where they want to lead this country to. They want to lead this country to these type of conditions. Can't allow it. Can't allow it. I want to see this bath. I I I want to see this bathroom. I want to see. Mm. Can you take me there? Yes. Okay, let's go. Wow. So, ma, this is where you take your bath. Yes. What do you do for a living? I do kill fish. You kill fish. Yes. How much do you to make monthly? Sometimes one thousand. This is 50,000 naira for you, man. I will get in touch with you. Uh, okay? Bless that uh, uh, TikToker okay. for his kind heart. Guys, I don't, I don't want to put more sad videos here. I don't want to... I don't want to add to the pain. For those of you that watch my full videos and you have reached to this stage, please pay attention to this part of the video and please share this section as much as you can. I'm going to try and use this segment as a short I'm going to try and put it on TikTok because we are in trouble. 
when I told you guys that I came here and I was feeling a bit that, like I didn't have that Uncle P thing, it's because I came across this video first before I decided on how I was gonna set up this whole video. For those of you who don't understand pigeon, I've been around Nigerians enough. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my very best to break it down for you. Because this is a very dangerous thing that is happening on this live stream. Now, this is a live stream from TikTok. So for those of you that go to TikTok, you know the live streams where people come and they talk and it's just like Twitter spaces where they share things. And this was a live stream that was happening. And listen to this. Another year, record me very, very well. First of all, she wants to be recorded very well because she's got an important message that she wants to send out there. So let's hear this message. Record exactly. me. We are time. going to give them what time to start poisoning the Yoruba and the Benin. Put poison for all Luna food for work. Put poison. Do you guys hear that? The caption says, "If you are Benin or Yoruba, you working with Igbo people. Please be careful of your food and water at your workplace because some Igbo people want to start poisoning other tribes." We just saw what's happening with the children, what's happening to the country, the condition which they're living in. Now, they are tribalists. They call South African xenophobics. Them themselves, they are tribalists. So a group of Igbo people are coming together so they can analyze, poison other people. Let's continue to listen. Make una de buy. One by one, una go, una, una go buy one day, una go six. So put poison in their water, let them drop one by one. Sick, sick, sick. I go put a tap, pia, pia, for inside. So that they can fall sick, 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 sick. Una water, inside una food. No, no go see. I'm going to put poison inside water. Better. This guy hates when I get for una so. Even inside It will last forever. forever. They're not going to sleep well. Fall off on a food. Otapia, Pia. Let me record that one. Let me record that uh, uh, rat. Eh? Otapia, Pia. Eat and die. Eat and die. Eat and die. Eat and die. Sniper, sniper, sniper. I go there and put them for all. So she's trying to confirm the poison that they are going to put in. They are all trying to remind her which poison it is they are going to put in these people's food, water. So when I saw this live stream, I was like, okay, they talk about analyzing each other. Let's keep listening. Una food. Sniper. All on food for if I go work tomorrow now, go put them for, for Yoruba people food. Go tell government. Oh yeah, I did Canada, I did Ontario. Oh yeah, hurry. She said if she goes to work tomorrow, she's going to put it in Yoruba people's food. This this lady literally so you guys are seeing the video here a picture is there and the other people are there they've got pages it's not that there's right now there was a hundred now there's 98 people who are listening to this and they won't even report it and this live stream will continue to go and tiktok won't even flag it because there is an agenda guys there's an agenda and there's a reason why nigeria nigerians are being attacked and they are being made this crazy there are too many of them and it's a large population. They are trying to drive them insane in order to keep control over Africa. Let's keep listening to this before I make that point. Up, hurry, fast, fast. I go put a tap, I go put a bomb or show everything for sell my food. When I go to hear small, small, you're a bad on that, yo. Be need dog, but I'm going to hear and I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk and I'm going to talk. We don't care. We don't care about South Africa. We don't care. Guys, pay attention here. Now they are talking about South Africa. So this is where it got interesting. We don't care about them, but those boys where they they wanted those our sisters where they go there, but they know they go there. Those boys that guy where they 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 call sir, sir who be sir? That guy resemble sir. That guy where they. So basically what they're saying is, they don't care about South Africa. They said, yes, we don't care. He says, yes, but they also need to be taught a lesson. We need to tell our people that are there that they need to be dealt with. 
don't know why Igbos. I don't know why Igbos. They go. I mean, even I chamber of some of our Igbo people. I don't know why I'm they go that of. platform. You guys need to grow that spirit of wickedness. You do Igbo. They talk of South Africa, South Africa, where white they buy there every day, every day, every day. They don't buy two again. Carry and put pig, make pig chop. The day yeah they talk, South Africa better pass us. You people must start growing that spirit of evilness. It's, cool. it's food telling them, and now they are going to South Africa, South Africa. Now they are targeting South Africans. For you, Jolofinas, and I know a lot of uh, South Africans that have Nigerian friends. Even I have Nigerian well, friends. Let me rephrase. I had Nigerian friends. After hearing this, and also the recap, kind of recent. I'm, most of them watch my content that know me personally. Some of them will even call me, ah, Uncle P, what did you say on your podcast? I say, no, did you see what your, your people are? Yeah, but we are not all the same. How do I know? There is people on this live stream. There's a, now there's 114, 114 people listening. How do I know you're not one of those people listening and agreeing with us? Guys, are we going to pick the good fruits? Or are we going to see that there's too many bad fruits and just get rid of everybody? This thing carries on for 3 minutes and 27 seconds. I've stopped it at 1 minute and 55. I'm going to put the rest of this at the end of the video for you guys to watch. And then I'm going to put another video at the end which we're going to discuss on the next video. I don't want to keep these videos long. Guys, South Africa, fight for this country. Because you cannot allow what we just saw here to happen here. And look at what they're already planning. My job is to inform you. Whether you agree with me or don't agree with me, I said what I say. I'm going to die one day. I've got my children. I'm raising my children. I've got my life. It's up to you how you take this information. But right now, we're in trouble. I'm your boy Uncle Pink. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. South Africa platform. We don't yeah, care. We don't care about South Africa. We don't care. Oh, we don't care about them, but those boys where they, they wanted those assistants where they go there, where they know they go there. Those boys, that guy where they, they, they call sas, a hubi sa, that guy resemble sa. I don't, know why, I, I don't know why Igbos. I, I don't know why Igbos. They go. I mean, even I chamber of some of our Igbo people. I don't know why I'm they go that platform. You guys need to grow that spirit of wickedness. You do Igbo. They talk of South Africa, South Africa, where white they buy there every day, every day, every day. They don't buy two again. Carry and put pig, make pig chop. The day yeah, they talk. But Africa, better pass us. Make go. Make. I'm a do a kid then there. Oku buy you. Vlad, my word, I'll go buy you for there. I want making the people get that heart of wickedness. Una too, una, una too de quiet. Una too de cool. Enough. It's enough. If you have a means of buying them, buy them. Any means of buying them, buy them, come up for road. Because they, they, they're too mumu. They're of no use to, to, to the society. Lots of lot of uh, prostitutes and everything. Man, go do one. Asha work and done. They say be naked done. The the food they call and be naked done. They are Asha work and done. Because the way they talk about us is very irritating. Please, nobody. Eh, I beg, mute this guy. They say because because one nigga don't care about auto auto auto. So I want to sleep. I want to I want to sleep for night again. At the reason I want to tackle these people for this Canada. Now be my now now what are the reason every day? We have a craze for waiting. It's too much. Make I go work tomorrow. Now I get to tap a my bag. All of you now. Now we go sick die. Now go sick by me. I mean to come. Oh, this is the beginning, no? This is just the beginning. Oh, but don't not go risky. We don't buy to not go fish you. Doctor Howard explains why the West and China wants Africa. To remain poor. Africa historically, Sub Saharan Africa, has been fundamental to the global prosperity of the advanced countries. Okay? And Africa had a role to play. It has a role as a raw material producer.